go. Right now, we've missed Taylor for quite a while. He's been out with a, um, a play with a foot, if I'm not mistaken. Some kind of foot is. In the cover, I'm joined by a uh, three time Supreme Champion and a heavyweight champion, Mr. Bouncer, Grand Slam champion. Hey, how's it going, people? How's it going? It's good. We, it's good to see Taylor made back in WMWA. We haven't it is, seen him it in is. a few months. He was always one of my favorite. One of my more favorite wrestlers. Uh, Taylor, uh, Taylor's definitely a great wrestler. He's definitely got a good belly. He's very fast and agile for his size. Had a great a, uh, run as hybrid champion that lasted about 13 shows. He also had a brief stint as Supreme Champion that only lasted for a little while. Because his uh, longtime rival right there, Mr. CJ Price, uh, attacked him before the match. These guys are no strangers to each other. What's up, brother? Serious neck breaker. Damn, man. Taylor pulling a U. <laughs> As we saw in the first match from today. Oh, funny man. Funny man. I'm just saying the fact. I mean, we may not like Aaron Douglas, but he seems to be the only black guy to keep his trunks up. <laughs> oh, I gotta so imagine Taylor's gonna have some oh. ring rust. It's been a little bit for him. Oh. A couple knees to the gut right there. Even Taylor was surprised about how much uh, CJ Price got hit in the pan. Big running knee right to the middle. Mr. Taylor right there. A knee across the face. Ouch. That was very painful. CJ Price has been on a grind since beating you back at show 120 for that heavyweight championship. He's yep. got some big title defenses against Evan Payne, Aaron Douglas, Cypher, and Adrian. So he's going for title defense number five right here. And uh, being a champion never ends because uh, the winner of this match going into the six pack challenge defending next show, which is going to be a. You yourself are fighting for championship gold next show. You won that yep. number one contender for the Supreme title. How does it feel to maybe be able to knock Otis off the throne real quick? Come on, Oh, well, you know. Big step for Black Kind. Oh yeah, yeah. Black. Yeah, it was a nice little, you know, victory for me. A two birds just to stick one stone. it to him, you know. Just uh. that's how those Black Panthers like it. Two, two birds, one stone. Yeah. Reverse that sleeper. Runs right to that turnbuckle. Gets him off right quick. Smart move by Taylor. I gotta imagine that the longer this match goes, it probably will favor CJ Price because I mean Taylor has typically very good cardio, but you gotta imagine being out of the ring for a few months. I mean I know what that's like. I missed a good Uh oh. Caught him. Floater T-bone suplex into a cover. We might have a new heavyweight champion right here. CJ Price, resilient as ever, kicks out. CJ Price has been damn near untouchable since he won that championship. He's defeated, he's won two champion, champion matches, one against Evan, hybrid champ, and one against the former Supreme Champ Armani. And like I said, he's got those four title defenses. Yeah. But the thing is, I know, and it can be tempting too, if you got that look ahead factor. I mean, he wants to be, he already said he wants to be the guy, the first guy to defend in a six pack challenge successfully. But if you're overlooking Taylor, ring rust or not, it's a huge mistake. 
third kick right to the chest. Oh, and he got caught. He got caught. What a dragon screw right there by Taylor. I did not know he had that in there. That was good. Well, you know, when you have that time off, it gives you time to really... You know. Taylor does study. I, that's yeah. the thing I liked about him the most when he was in the resurgence group with me. I, I was always catching him, watching matches, and... and but hey, Taylor, go check this match out. I already seen it twice, brother. I already right. seen it twice. And I, I mean, I mean that legitimately. I mean, he watches a lot of uh, tape, and I'm, and you already know CJ plenty of times from in the ring. They, they mean, they fought at the hundred show, and then they had the main event match at one on one. So 25 shows ago was the last time these bros met one on one at the in the main event. I'm gonna do it. Oh. Oh. oh! You gotta give full props to CJ for that. What a reversal of the knee stop right there. He was about to drive his knee right into the uh, in the mat, and CJ was able to nip up out of that roundhouse kick him. Running oh. oh. on right there into a cover. Long two and a reversal. Crucial spin right there by Taylor. You're running boot. Another knee. Come on, man. CJ's trying to keep him down, but it's not going down. No. And he's got him on the mat in a chokehold. Right in the middle of the ring, nowhere to go for Taylor right now. I guess he's going to try and put him to sleep right here. British with it, jeez. All his weight coming right back down on Taylor. Fans are getting on CJ Price. They don't care. I know. They don't care. But I mean, it's, it's difficult. I mean, because it's amazing too, because you gotta, you can't ignore the accolades of CJ Price. You know what I mean? Whether or not I like you, Baxter, I can't ignore that I like your accolades. You got a lot of them. I'm not saying I don't like you, it's my point. T.J. Price, you may not like him, but he's a Rest of the Year winner, 2013. Ah, no. Two-time hybrid champion no. and the reigning heavyweight champion of the of WMWA. And you know it's not even easy to fight for that championship, let alone win. So, uh, so Taylor, oh, back Taylor up. fighting out of it. Dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass, though. Big cold line. Blood's right across him. Double axe handle. Bust that one. Big shoulder tackle. Elevating the whole body off the off the mat right there. We can't break the ring. The but they're definitely gonna try. Hey man, if, if uh, Otis and Armani didn't do it with that super flex, I don't know. I don't know what will. But. We've had some big slams and moves here in WMWA. Yep. Going on a year in the real ring. Uh, second time. You had one back in 05, as you remember. You yep. made your debut in it against uh, Anarchy. I'm a WMWA historian, folks. I know it all. <laughs> Been there, done that. Taylor, Taylor trying to use his time to uh, weaken CJ with that sleeper. And also, Taylor has taken some serious damage himself, too. We also gotta remember, he just came from that, from that leg. Oh. Yeah. He's been off his feet for a good month six, or to two months. Oh. What a chop right there. Oh. Second oh. one. You can hear that all the way over here, and those never feel good. Yeah. Oh, wow, what a running calf click right across the head into the turnbuckle. Nowhere for Taylor to go. He falls forward. Oh. You may have to roll out of the ring right now. Taylor's got to do what he's got to do right here. As I, I, as I pull more, oh, out of the ring. Suicide dive by C.J. Price. He's always willing to put life and limb on the line to retain his heavyweight title. That's how I feel, show, baby. That's my heavyweight champion. He does get a little wrapped up in this deal in the show thing, but I mean, it's hard to deny the matches he's had with Adrian and Evan and Cypher and uh, Aaron Douglas. This, I mean, Taylor, I mean, we do have the open challenges by CJ Price. He's willing to defend against anyone, and Taylor, I mean, after being out of the ring for a couple months, he beat 
even have an opportunity to have a weight title. Woo! Out, but it may be more than he champion right here, baby. It may be more than Taylor could have uh, bit off and chewed and stuff like that. And whatever. Right, Bouncer? Oh. Yeah, it is. Go, Santa. It looks like it's wearing think, on him. I think Taylor has enough fire in him to. Oh! oh. 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 Definitely pulls it off right there. But Taylor's reeling himself. CJ has done some damage, and he, this man has missed three months of good Whoa. ring time. And for a guy who's a WWE regular, that is tough yeah. to do. As I told you, I missed I missed 14 months from 2012 three. to 2000, uh, or 11 to 12, and uh, it was good that I had a ta it was a tag team match with Dave Dawson, and luckily it was Dave Dawson, right. WWE fucking legend right there. He helped me get and that. That and adrenaline got me through that match against CJ Price and Aaron Douglas in that tag team match back at Show 98. Taylor, Taylor may have to go in and find that adrenaline right now. The crowd's starting to get behind him. Oh, oh and a low blow. The ref didn't see Price. it. Oh. Oh. definitely in Taylor's oh. corner. CJ oh. sucks. CJ oh. sucks. Elbow right across the face of Taylor. Oh. Taylor's right here. He's checking his jaw right now, making sure it's still in where it's making supposed sure to it's be. Still there. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Some top the second rope right there while Taylor was on all four. Get up. Not looking good for Taylor made right now. I'm gonna call it like it is, man. Taylor has done some impressive things in his past, but maybe a little too much for him to handle right now. CJ Price is Undisputedly ah. on the top of this game oh. right there. Oh wait a minute! Nice. Oh. By Taylor made out of nice nowhere. Reversal. Can he get a cover? One, two. Ah. Taylor felt like he had it right there. That was a good spinning neck breaker. Good one right there. Go Taylor! Taylor's back up. Oh, oh, CJ. Oh. 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 Woo! Check. Ah. Second time of charm right there for CJ Price. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Taylor. Oh. In another world right now. Oh, yeah, Bryce no stalking him. Going on. Bryce stalking him right now. Oh. Oh. Kick right dead in the chest and the shoulder right there. Both, feet. Full contact. Oh. Long two right there. CJ Bryce almost had this match wrapped up. Almost. Uh oh. Ah. Now he's nice. choking him with it. Yeah. Ah. 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 Nice. Throwing him right into that second turnbuckle. I'm Taylor. First chance I get at that S5. I'm, I'm breaking it out. CJ is a slippery SOB and he loves to steal wins. I mean, he, the second the ref was down, Championship right to Bouncer's head. We got a new champion. Bouncer, I'll forget that. I won't. Oh, man. Head first. CJ gets out of the out of the way. Last second. Now both men are down right here. And CJ CJ's going? back up. One of these days, this high risk move is gonna not pay off for CJ Price like it has in the past. Second rope. Oh. That third one. Up to the third. Taylor's up two. Oh, uh oh. Crossbody. Oh. Wait a minute. He caught him. He caught him. Oh. And he throws him up top. Oh. Oh. Taylor got the F5. Oh. That was out of nowhere. Two. Are oh. you kidding me? CJ Price gets up. Oh. Come on. It should have been Come done on. right there. Come on. Taylor's won championships with that move. 
Taylor's back up. He is not gonna let this end like this. Taylor does have him where he wants him though. Maybe not the three count, but F5 in the middle of the ring. He can follow it up. That was a three count man. He's in disbelief. He's, he's asking the ref. He really should be out there CJ right now. CJ back to his feet. Kick to the gut. And a punch. Trying to go for the Kick to the gut by Taylor. He is setting him up for a second one right here. And a roll up, and a roll up, and a roll up. And he got his hands on the world. CJ Price right now. That's his fifth championship to the fence. Taylor going for that second F5 to ensure victory. And CJ steals another one. CJ with a roll through, sunset flip, on the ropes. Nobody's gonna take this from me. So stolen, baby! Woo! He gave Bryce better, uh, I mean, as good as that victory was to feel it like that. Backyard. Yes. You're deceived, buddy. Yeah. I'm not allowed to touch you, your nope. property, right? Yep. I, I, I've been looking for you for a little while now. I haven't been able to get a hold of you for a couple shows. You've been very busy. Not allowed to talk to you. I oh. said no talking to nobody else. Oh, the boss. You mean Bobby Otis. Mr. Otis. Uh, oh, Mr. Otis. Mr. Otis. You're only supposed to talk to him and uh, Mr. Colonel, right? Yeah, Mr. Biscuits. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, um, Backyard, I know that fucking look, Backyard. Nope. I've known you since the very first show in WMWA nope. almost 10 years ago. Nope. Back about. in October 04. I remember it very clear. We we ran together for quite a long time, if you forget, too. Wasn't me. And you know what? I know when you're lying. No, you don't. Nope, nope. nope. I know when you're lying. Look familiar, bro? Nope. I uh, plead the fifth. Well, the paramedics just gave me back Dave Dawson's stuff to return to his family because mm -hmm. he's out of the hospital and uh, he wasn't in any shape to be carrying anything. Okay. Plead the fifth. So, yeah. Boss said I could Your plead the shoe fifth. is at the scene of the crime. It's not mine. Nope. And shoe you know, don't fit. Nope. You know what? You know why Dave Dawson's out of the hospital? Because he's conscious now. And he said it was you. Mm, that wasn't me. Nope. No proof. I don't wear shoes. Wait, See? Amen. I plead the fifth. I don't wear shoes. Don't fit. You've been missing that one. Nope. Boss I, oh, I, think, I think the glass slipper fits, bro. Nope, don't fit. Nope. Boss said I complete the fifth. Well, you know what? You don't have to convince me. I know the truth. You know the truth. If you want to lie and put up a front because Mr. Otis told you to, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to explain it to me because the collision course next next show, Dave Dawson will be here in person. And then you can tell him to your face that it wasn't you. Okay. I'll tell him. Boss told me not to tell you. Nope. Well, have fun because you're also in the six-pack challenge, too. So <laughs> run that by Mr. Otis and Colonel. I'll see you at 127, bro.